Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Dana. I am a mom of two boys. I am a nurse turned stay-at-home mom and I am here to share with you my favorite things. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about simplifying my beauty routine. I am by no means an expert in skincare or makeup or anything of the sort, but I'm going to talk through how I've dealt with acne as an adult. Um, as well as just how I have simplified the things in my drawer as far as my makeup goes and all of the things. I used to go to Ulta and Sephora and all the places and I just would go crazy. And I would fill these tubs and drawers with all kinds of product. I have now simplified my makeup and skin care routine so much that I can literally fit it in a small travel bag. This is that bag. Now, this is like an everyday bag, but I have fit my makeup, my shampoo, all of the things into an even smaller bag in a carry-on um, or backpack. So, all right, in front of me, I have all of the things that I use, and I know you can't see it, but I'm gonna show you everything. And I am in the best place with the best lighting in my home, and that is in front of the sliding glass door in my bedroom. I, as a teenager, I never dealt with acne very much. I would have a breakout here and a breakout there every once in a while, but that was it. Never really had to deal with it. As an adult, oh my goodness, it's been horrible. And I would try all of the things, the topicals, I tried silver, I tried different. Oh my goodness, that was the worst thing I ever could have done, um, which is where a lot of the scarring came from. And I tried it for a good eight months and they said, oh, try it for about six months. Make sure it works. No, never. My skin had never been worse in my entire life and I absolutely hated it. Anyway, so this is what I found to work. I've tried all kinds of things. I've tried all of the washes. I've tried all of the things. This is the face wash that I use every single day, usually twice a day if I remember. Not very good at remembering to do that, but I try and I've loved this since I started it. Okay. And then the next thing I did was trying to get rid of the scarring, which is so much better than it used to be. Um, my doctor gave me this, which is just, oops, sorry, the benzoyl peroxide, 5%. This one I didn't really like. It's very like thick and not very, um, doesn't glide on very good. But a friend of mine tried Nature's Cure and she's dealt with acne like I have since she's become an adult. And this one, I absolutely so I started this, and then I also started the um, oral treatment. And guys, it's been a game changer. I absolutely love this. First thing I do is I wash my face, dry it off after I get out of the shower, what have you. Then I go in with my um, benzoyl peroxide cream. This one's almost gone. Literally, I am getting just the last few drops. Um, but I go ahead and put that on. Now, this stuff is the stuff that will bleach your pillowcase. It will bleach your sheets, all the thing. It does say you can multiply it multiple times a day. I do it once and I'm literally doing this in my phone because I do not have a mirror. <laughs> and I will let that dry. Okay, next thing I've done is I have done two things. So I don't, I'll do this in the morning. I do not do it in the evening because of my sheets. I, I've already destroyed some, don't want to do any more. Um, so that is what I do first. Then I'll talk a little bit about like some of my nighttime things that I do um, as well. But this is just your basic everyday routine for me. The second thing that I have gotten recently that I absolutely love. So first of all, a moisturizer. I have been trying to find a good moisturizer that I love for several years. I've tried Lan Lancome. I've tried um, just the brand that goes with this, like the CeraVe. Um, but this one, I tried a e.l.f version of this moisturizer with CBD. Absolutely loved it. Went back to get it and they didn't have it. So I found this one and I love it even more. It helps me get rid of the redness and all of the things, but it is the Derma E. You can see this, it's Derma E 
de-stress serum and it's a skin de-stress calming serum and I absolutely love this. It has 500 milligrams of CBD in it. I love it. It's my new favorite thing. When I get rid of this one, I will buy it again. Like I said, I'm no expert. This is just what's worked for me and I absolutely love it. Very light. I let that kind of sink in. And guys, I'm not even sure if this is the right order you're supposed to put this stuff in, but it works for me. So next I go in with my SPF and this is one that I have found that I like the most. Um, Burt's Bees, it's 30 SPF and it's a firming day lotion. And I go in with that after I put my CBD serum on. And I get it all over and down my neck as well. Probably shouldn't do that. I think you're supposed to go up, up, not down more. <laughs> okay, there you have it. So that's what I put on my face every single morning. And I've done that for several months now and I have absolutely loved it. Now, let's talk kind of nighttime. So, and I don't always remember, sue me. Anyway, I will wash my face and then instead of using my SPF, I go in with the same brand, the Burt's Bees. This one is the Firming Moisture Cream. It's thicker. I like to use this at night. Um, the other thing that I have absolutely been loving, and I do go in with this every once in a while, I should do it more, um, are these frowny facial patches. Um, I think I'll try to do a video on those as well, just by themselves, but these are amazing. I love it. I've never been interested in Botox or any of those kind of things. The other day I took a picture with someone and they said, girl, you are older than I am and you have so many less wrinkles or anything like that. And I'm like, I love that because I've always had deep 11s right here, um, all the things, and I do get them. I mean, you can see like when I frown and things like that, but um, anyway, I love these. Frownies facial patches, pa patches, sorry, frownies facial, frownies facial patches, and the rose water hydrator. And sometimes I will just spray this on my face by itself because I love it. So I left my mouth open. <laughs> Shouldn't talk while you're doing that. So rose water hydrator, love that. And these facial patches, if you haven't ever seen them, they're these little patches. You literally spray them with the hydrator. You push them into your face and they stay on there at night. These have been around for hundreds, like over a hundred years. And I love them. While I'm letting this dry, here's a couple of other things that I like but I only use them occasionally I don't use them very often and there are a couple I am a big face mask girl I've always loved face masks I've loved facials and going to the spa all of the things but these are two things that I've loved from home um, one is this pumpkin honey um, glycolic mask from Andalou I think that's how you sell it say it don't take me by word naturals it's a brightening glycolic mask I it smells so good. If I, oh, it just, it smells delicious. Pumpkin, honey, glycolic mask. I use this every once in a while. I like it. I love the way it makes my skin feel. And then I also have this rose sorbet, short sorbet cryo mask from Lancome that I've gotten at Ulta. I like it as well. Um, I just use those every once in a while after I, when I'm in the shower or if I'm in the bath, after I wash, I will put one of these on and then rinse with water. So yeah, there you have it. Now I used to have a tub full of masks and acne treatments and you name it, I had it, but this is all I use now. And I have absolutely been loving every single one of these things that I have used. Now, my other little tip is if you get dry lips, this is a tip from my mom and I used to hate it when I was younger, but this is another little essential thing that I keep in my, I have it in my boys' room. I have it, this one is mine. They have a bigger one. You know, I mean, kids, they lick their lips. They get those chapped lips in the winter. They're red all the way around. You put this stuff on, put 
put this stuff on and it is absolutely amazing. It is Mary Kay. It is extra emollient night cream. It's been around forever. I remember using this when I was my son's age, when I was eight and I got those chapped lips. My mom would put this on it. It's not pleasant. It does not smell the best, but if you've ever smelled that smell, you know what it is. So that's just my other little thing that I absolutely love. All right, next, makeup. I used to have every single kind of makeup. I would go to the store and I would have powder foundation. I would have liquid foundation. I would have mineral foundation, all of the things, guys. And they all went bad or they weren't a right match or one of those things. But I have now found something and I am not selling it. I am not doing anything of that. I know someone who does, but I ordered for the first time in February. So it's almost November now. In February, I ordered Saint Makeup. I believe that's how you say it. Like I said, I, I'm horrible at pronouncing things. So Saint Makeup ordered it. I have absolutely been loving it. I, I went from having a drawer full of makeup to literally, guys, this is all of the makeup that I use on a regular basis. That's it. And I'm gonna share it with you. I'm actually going to do my makeup as we're doing this because why not? So, so this is the compact that I have. It's just an 810 compact. It has a little mirror and I'm, uh, it's, I'm sure it's dirty. I use it every day, guys. Um, but this is the compact that I use and it has, I have four, I need to go ahead and reorder, but I have four different face colors. One of them is one that I've used in the winter and then this was the one I used in the summer. So I have a light color, which is like a highlight. I have a contour, which I've only ordered once. I need to order it again. And then I have like a base color. So that's what's in here. And then on the bottom, I have some eyeshadows. These are, I, I really don't range very much in my colors. If you ever remember those CoverGirl compacts of eye colors that were for your eye shade, I always loved that for the brown ones, they had the pinks and the browns. I love that. So I kind of stick with that. I just have always liked that. Sometimes I'll go out on a limb and do something different, but not very often. I like a very natural look. So I have four eyeshadow. I have one that's like a glittery one for like special occasions, right? And then I have a highlighter and then I have a blush and I actually have two colors of blushes. I have one that's a lighter pink for summer and I have a darker one. We'll go to it. Now I actually just use my finger most of the time. Sometime I'll go in with my brush. It doesn't need cleaned. It's kind of dirty. Um, this side is pretty clean. That's the one I actually use. This side I haven't used really. Um, but I will go in with my highlight color first. And I really don't do any rhyme or reason. I just saw this somewhere, the way they applied it. And I was like, yeah, oh, that, that'll work for me, right? And that's what I do. That's my highlight, okay? Literally takes not very long. I'm gonna go in with my darker uh, base color. This is the lighter one that I use. Sometimes we'll use it like under my eyes rather than all over. But I've got another finger and I literally just put it on in these bigger areas. I really need to reorder this. Hopefully I blend it well because it's kind of hard to see. It does blend out very, very even and I love it. So that's really all I do, okay? And then I'm gonna go back in with my contour. I don't know if this is contour or if it's, yeah, I think it's contour. I think that's what it's called. And I'll do a little bit here and a little bit there. And then I do a little bit, the little hollow of my cheekbones, just like that. That is gonna be my base. Are you ready? I usually start with the lighter areas first. Oh, I forgot my nose. I don't really do this all the time, but for today's sake, I'm just gonna do it as well never been one for contouring or like I said I'm very basic basic oh I went in the dark one no it doesn't really matter guys so I blend in my light colors for my highlight I 
I do have a couple little spots on my forehead from a breakout, but I mean, they're blending in quite nicely, if you can see that. And then I go in and blend in my base color. And you can build upon this, so if I want to add some little spots here, I can go back in. And I love how simple this is. It's literally the easiest makeup I have ever put on. It takes no guesswork. And I love it. And it's a very light layer. I don't like thick makeup. I come from the age where when we were in high school, everyone caked on the makeup, like the dream matte mousse, the Maybelline, like all the things. So we always had people with like those lines, you know. I probably did it too, you know, I don't know blend in that darker shade. I think, hopefully guys, I'm blended. Like I said, I've never done my makeup on camera before, but yeah, I guess I'll check in my mirror. Ah, looks pretty good. I'm gonna blend down my neck. Now, if you wanted to, you could use some contour like around here. I've seen people do that, all the things, but this is literally my makeup routine every single day. If I put makeup on lately, I haven't even been doing that. I go back in with a little bit of blush. And I just do it up here at the top. I've gotten, I used to put it like on my cheeks, like way down here. But the older I get, the more I've realized you don't want things down. You want it up. Don't drag it down. Next. Like I said, I have these four shades of eyeshadow that I usually go in with. Now I could just use my fingers and this is the one I usually go with first and I'll put it all over. But today I'm gonna show you something else that I love because I've shared a little bit about this makeup. Now I'm gonna share a little bit about um, the other things that I like as well that are not just this makeup. If I wanted to do a little highlight, do a little highlight on my cheeks with this one. So be it. Okay, things that I've been liking are these e.l.f. eyeshadow sticks. I found them at Ulta. Um, this is a no budge matte shadow stick, and this one is a brown that is more of a shimmer. I have been loving this just on my lid. I will go in with this and then just kind of blend it out. like that and then I might even go in with that shimmer shade up here just like that now if I wanted to I could go in with this one it's kind of hard because I can't really see you guys and I'll usually make like a line here and a line there and kind of blend it up and out just like that there you have it. And the other thing I've been liking is the e.l.f. Brow Wax. And I'm not really much for doing my brows. Um, I've never really had thin brows. I've never been one of those girls who plucked my brows like super thin. I did come from that era. That is high school. Everyone had super, super thin eyebrows. I did not. Um, I kept my eyebrows pretty much natural. And by natural, I mean sometimes they were really, really hairy. I really haven't plucked my eyebrows in a while, but all I do is I brush through, brush through eyeliners. I have a brown stick eyeliner, like a pen, and then I also have a black liquid liner that I love. These are both off as well. You can see I don't like spending a lot of money. I like things that I like, and then I keep buying them. So this is the h2o proof eyeliner pen in black and then this is the no budge retractable liner in coffee love them so normally most days i'll just go in with a little bit of brown here at the edge i no longer line my bottom lashes on days when I really, really want to look a little bit more, I'll do like a little bit of a winged liner. Okay, then we'll go in with mascara. I like the Lash Idol. I like it because of the length of the wand. Okay, 
hold on. I'm not gonna do this on camera. <laughs> okay, so I have my Lash Idol mascara from Lancome. I have it on. I put it on in the bathroom so I can actually see. Um, and then at the most, if I'm going somewhere, I might put on some lip gloss or something. If I'm going out for the night, I might put on red lip with a natural face. Um, today I've got chapstick. Mostly I'll just put some chapstick on, just like that. Or my favorite lip gloss, which is Pixie by Petra, and it is in sheer rose. And if I'm going out or if I'm going to dinner or something like that, I might put some lip gloss on. Not normally, but I like a good neutral gloss. All right, so that is for real, all I do with my makeup. I have come to love my makeup routine, my skincare routine. It has been something that I have developed over the last several years. Like I said, after trying multiple, multiple things for my skin, makeup after makeup after makeup to not clog my pores, to make sure <laughs> I've gotten facials and peels and all of the things at the spa and this is really and truly what I have found that I absolutely love and that is working for me. From a former beauty junkie who would get all of the facial, the face masks, the peels, the products, the makeup, all of the things from getting the things in the mail every month that had the samples and then I would go buy it if I liked it, all of that kind of stuff, to a person who has really simplified my makeup and skin routine and who has really wanted to go to a space where I'm spending less money on things that I'm not using. So you can do that by making sure that you're using the products that you love using the products that work for you. Sometimes it does take trial and error, but once you find those products that you love, stick with it, and you don't have to have tubs and tubs and tubs full of skincare products and makeup and things like that. Besides the fact that, like I said, the things that I have here, I don't have to buy near as often because I found the things I love and I use them till they run out and then I rebuy that same thing. So I've really discovered that with that, I've spent less in the long run, I'm not wasting money, and that is truly where I want to go, especially with learning to spend less and enjoy what I have. So I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I've never done a video like this before, but I am very passionate about this kind of thing and what has really helped my skin get to where it is, and I'm okay with that. Um, not everything that I use is probably the same thing you do, and that's okay. But this is what works for me, and I'm really enjoying it. I hope that that was helpful for you. So tune in next time, and we'll see where else we can simplify. What are the things I'm loving and just having fun?